lot of crafty things in there as the fight wears on. You can see. Rebecca sneaks in a right hand to the body. By Nietes, who doesn't have to do much to make Rebecca miss. He slipped and picked a punch with his left glove. He landed a jab right when. But in the closing seconds of round two, already by CompuBox count, Nietes is doubling Rebecca and landed punches. Donnie Nietes' ring nickname is Ha-Has, the Tagalog word for snake. Extended period of time, that's the guy that gets me excited. Well, and that's, it was consistency over a long period of time. It was 46 consecutive wins with 38 knockouts that lifted Roman Chocolatito coming into calendar 2017. But as his experiences with Suisa Ketso and B-Side show, there's somebody out there in this overwhelming Nietes, you'll see him slowly start to pick it up. He'll throw just a little bit more each round until he gets the shots that he wants to get. And you'll look up and he'll either score a knockout boring fight a little bit one-sided obviously but if you like boxing craft you're seeing a lot of it here and, and it's well, not of course he's not moving his hands hands and punches are flying if the ticket if i had to guess i think the boos might be louder in round eight and nine i, I like what yeah, i mean i don't know i see two guys throwing punches you tell me when there's a significant break in the action look here comes Rebecca. his hands are moving yet his hands are moving they're just also both playing defense Right now, I'm focused is a champion in the division. Oh, hard left hook on Yetris. Follows it up with a two-punch combination. They're entitled to express themselves, but eventually in this fight, if it continues this way, you're right. Rebecca, what he's doing, it's not working. It will be time to go to plan B. Which he's been doing this round. That's he's right. had some more success. That Rebecca left hook is one of the best punches he's landed in the fight. But he had to eat five or six good punches just to get him to really is. Right As one of the greatest of all boxing publicists, Mike Tyson said, in boxing, you got to bring it bell, to get it. That bell. isn't exactly what he said, but that's the <laughs> point. One of James Tony's favorite expressions, too. Up, up. Rebecca got hurt with something at the end of that round. Between rounds, clock has stopped. Short right hand from Nietes right on the button. And now the between rounds clock is going to roll. Rebecco out on his feet. He's out right now. And Nietes knows it. And he's coming back after this round to try to finish. I'll tell you, the situation to me looks, Jim, like maybe he should not come out for this next round. But now Nietes has a sitting duck in front of him. Yeah, and I think this is... Highly questionable for the California Commission as Rebecco has been allowed to come back in and fight Four, at a moment five, when he was obviously six, compromised. Seven. Come to me. Come to me. His corner's come allowing to him to continue. His, his legs are not obeying his brain. Everybody, and now Good. somebody in the corner is waving a white flag, and intelligently so. What's the point? That would have ended ugly if they let that continue. Another look at the end. So Nietes knows that Rebecca's hurt. So now you start to see him put some power behind those punches. He commits more knowing that Rebecca's hurt. He closes the distance. He goes to the body with both hands and tries to finish up top. And Rebecca's done. He's finished. You know, Andre, we saw a good young fighter a couple months ago. Still WBO flyweight champion of the world. Donnie Ahas, Nietzsche.